Zachary Nursel and Giovanni Salgado were a little more than two thirds of the way across Little Traverse Bay when Nursel's kayak was hit with a wave. I, I looked over my shoulder to say something to Gio and I, I, as far as I could tell, a wave hit my boat just right and I didn't see it coming so I didn't get a chance to lean into it. I, I didn't correct and just went over. Nursel says in the process of trying to wave down a passing boat for help, Salgado fell out of his kayak too. Thankfully, he had a cell phone. Luckily, they had a phone with him in a waterproof bag. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't be here today. So he was able to pull it out and call Todd that was waiting for us. He called 911 and then we in turn called 911 after he had called back so they could track his phone. Nursel says Salgado held the phone above his head and out of the water for nearly an hour while he was on the line with the 911 operator. It was cold. It was real cold. Um, but you, you just keep your feet moving and your arms waving and things like that and you kind of stay warm. Deputies say at the time of the rescue, the water temperature was 41 degrees. You, we saw the boats. We knew they were coming. It was just a matter of when they were going to get to us. So, Did you think you were going to die? Um, at one point, I lost track of where one of the boats was, the boat I kept seeing. And that, at that point, I got a little nervous that maybe they weren't going to find us. But I don't think the thought of dying ever seriously entered my head. Reporting in Emmett County, Gabriella Pagan, 7 and 4 News.